This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we... We are... This is Serico territory. Get out... That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space... Fine. Sporting for a fight. I am. But I might infect you. I won't turn away your help. Thank you. I'm feeling a little better. Thank you. The Jedi Code is still alive and well. If you say so, I'm not sure I believe it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. I heard the Ovis here kidnap Madame's daughter. The Seraphim killed another bit of the world. I heard the Overseer killed Matt McDonald's. The Seraphim killed another bit of the Yatuka, Uwanrika, Chotin, Wanima, Orata, Wakata, Chi Luma Lithpa. Huta Yanolia! Jukta Genich, Ubawonki, Najung, Winotunma, no Mirita. Sinta Tita Krom, E Docipatonone Noto? Cabadumpa, Mo Wendido, Chokerembi, Norta Kunyun, Wish Chawaka Chuba, Sura, Dachi Morotuko Kansa. Da Hupa, Go Sakurata, Go Jujutu Yoki, 
Kiata yamba wadiaki yuki totune. Tovrekun mili, tovrekun mili wosa slima po wanga sawana muta. Unta chiwita inka ki kraya na chawanga kone. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosa nanansata. Da hupa, bosa kurata, go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wadiaki yuki totune. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Tayaita, ta bosa nanansata. <laughs> Something up? All right, what did you want to know? Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be. And whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shadda during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? Is this an interrogation? If so, you're terrible at it, especially for an ex-Jedi, or whatever you are. Why don't you just crawl in my head and try to dig out whatever you're looking for rather than asking about it? You know what? I helped you get off, Dragas. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Wasn't it? Maybe you thought they'd forgive you. Sure, you might have thought they'd execute you. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you. All those Jedi at Malachor? They deserved it. Every last one of them. Because Jedi lie, and they manipulate, and every act of charity or kindness they do, you can drag it out squirming into the light and see it for what it is. The galaxy doesn't need Jedi arrogance or Jedi hypocrisy anymore. The Jedi, the Sith, you don't get it, do you? To the galaxy, they're the same thing. Just men and women with too much power, squabbling over religion while the rest of us burn. At least the Sith are honest about what they're killing for. The Jedi are pacifists, except in times of war. They're teachers, except when it comes to telling their students the truth. And when they save you, it's only so you can suffer more. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. Well, don't get too attached to me. I don't like it. It's because I'm a deserter. It's what I do. Served in both of them. Against the Mandalorians, before and after Revan, and again, when Revan declared war on the Jedi. Because I followed orders. But it was more than that. You were there. You knew how easy it was to hate the Jedi who sat back in the Republic, evaluating the threat, and watched us die against the Mandalorians. Because you can't believe in the Republic anymore after the Mandalorian Wars. After Revan, nothing was the same. Right after that final battle at Malachor, I was right there with the rest of the defectors. Because it was the right thing to do. The Mandalorians were slaughtering us by the millions. The millions. You were at Serico. 
when they turned the Starib cities into glass craters. At Duro, when basilisk war droids rained like meteors onto the orbiting cities. And when the Mandalorians set fire to the Zoxan plains on Ares III, the fires that still burn. Without the Jedi who turned on the Council, without you, the Republic would have lost the war, and we would all be Mandalorian slaves or corpses. We were loyal to Revan. That was enough. She saved us. After Malachor, after the Mandalorian Wars, that's when the Sith teachings started spreading through the ranks. We knew where our loyalties lay. To the Jedi who came to help us, not the ones who sat back on Dantooine and Coruscant, watching us die. So when those same Jedi who watched us die decided to start fighting us during the Jedi Civil War, we fought back. I fought back. I started killing Jedi. A lot of them. People say killing Jedi is hard. It's not. You just have to be smart about it. No blasters, no getting close to them, no attacking them directly when you can gun down their allies instead. There's ways of gassing them, drugging them, making them lose control, torturing them. I was really good at it. What's worse is that killing them wasn't the best thing. Making them fall. Making them see our side of it. That was the best. I taught myself techniques. It's hard for Jedi to sense what you're really thinking if you throw up walls of strong emotions and feelings. Lust, impatience, cowardice. Most Jedi awareness doesn't cruise beyond the surface feelings to see what's deeper. And I was good at that, throwing up walls. And my superiors knew it. Sometimes the Jedi on our side wouldn't even realize I was there. Part of it? Maybe it was always me. It's hard to tell sometimes. I haven't known who I am for years. I wasn't the only one. I know you left at the Mandalorian Wars, so you don't know much about what went on behind the scenes in the Jedi Civil War. But Revan understood one thing. The real battle was going to be fought between the Jedi on both sides. That was the only battle that mattered. Whoever had the most, the strongest Jedi were going to win the Civil War. If Revan couldn't convert Jedi, Revan would kill them. So Revan trained elite Sith units into assassination squads, whose duty was to go out and capture enemy Jedi. I was in one of the special units trained to do this. Revan had plans for all Jedi. I think it was important that the Jedi see his side of things, the Sith teachings. Revan wanted to break them and then have them join him. One day, I decided not to do it anymore, so I left. Ended up on Nar Shadda, became someone else. I didn't think you would, after Malachor, but it was a chance. I guess I was just tired of keeping it in. And I've been with you only a short time. Enough to know that as soon as someone signs on with you, they haven't got long to live. You got history, and anyone who travels with you doesn't. And maybe I want somebody to know who I was in case a story needs to be set straight. Maybe you understand. Well, there was a woman, a Jedi. She, she gave her life for mine. I never knew her name. She sought me out. She said she had come to save me. She was lying, of course. Or I think she was. It doesn't matter. She said that Revan was doing something terrible to Jedi within the Unknown Regions. That when we captured Jedi, they were sent to a place designed- And that anyone in his service who showed any ability with the Force was sent there too. She said that's what would happen to me. That I had the Force inside. And that when the Sith learned of it, there would be no escape. No turning. I had heard talk in the ranks. Troops vanishing. I knew what she... I did what I did with all Jedi. I hurt her. And then, right when I thought she couldn't take any more, she showed me the Force. In my head. And I felt everything she felt. I think I loved her. But it wasn't that kind of... Maybe. I killed her for crawling in my head, for showing me that. 
but before she opened her and at the end I in the end she sacrificed herself to keep my secret to prevent the Sith from knowing about that touch of and I felt her die when she opened her mind I've killed Jedi like I said but I was never there to feel it to be on the receiving end and after that I couldn't stop feeling things before so I left I fled with the displaced war veterans to Narsh and then I and I thought maybe maybe she had saved me so that I could help you I didn't want to tell you any of this, but I had to. Because if something happens... Once, a Jedi showed me the Force. I heard it. I felt it. At the time, there was too much pain to conf- Now, I'm not a- f And I think that by learning how to use it, I can help protect you. Or- I want to learn how to use the Force. What must I do? Is there some- Some ritual? Or- Greetings. Are you the spacer we were told about? Oh, we were expecting one of the pilots from the dock sometime. He's late. Thank you. To be honest, I don't even know his name. Some guy named... 50 credit. I was afraid of that. Thank you. I'm begin...
Did you find us a pilot? Please. Another refugee? I'm sad to see another join our ranks. I lost my husband Lutra long ago in the jet. What? Lutra's here? The exchange is circling the sector like Shyrax. If one of us should slip free... No one knows. I think they're trying to starve us into submission. Then they can make us slaves on the Hut Spice planets, but other refugees think the exchange is looking for someone. Some even say it's a Jedi. I'm done with fighting. I've seen enough of battle. I heard the some questions got us hemmed in like animals. Are you one of Sakwesh's men? Did you take my daughter? The Overseer, Sakwesh, he... I owe Sakwesh. You would? Oh, thank you. This is Serico territory. Get out of here before we space you. Got it? That's a laugh. Look, blow out of here like space dust, or you'll be a new stain on the cargo hold. You've made a dangerous enemy today. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
are tough to have made it this far. I don't make threats. Do your work. <laughs> After you assemble it, I'll double-check your work for you. Hey, let me take care of that for you. Expert. I like the sound of that. All done. Looks grim. Let me try something. That's a little better. Try it now. I'm glad I found you again, General. We were together at Malachor. And getting philosophical on me? I'm here because you found me on Telos and I decided... Tired of me already? I was frustrated. Watching the Athorians getting pushed. Guess if one planet was good enough for me? Why? You just have to know what the circus... I'll be sure to do... Was there something...
The exchanges thugs are always big.
Sasquatch's calf hounds? Adana. My mom made the mistake of... Really? Oh, why didn't you... Oh, goody, I was...
guy. Find out what's going on. Back again? Is there any? What? Lutra's here? What? How did you do this? You've given me my husband back, stranger. My husband, my life. Thank you. Thank you. 